If you remember, platelets are portions of megakaryocytes. Here you can see a megakaryocyte, or a really, really big cell, and little portions of the cell break off into the bloodstream. These are platelets or thrombocytes. Let's now look a little more in depth at what thrombocytes or platelets help with. They help with clot formation. So here we'll have a blood vessel running across the page that's been broken. Now the first thing that happens in the formation of a clot is that when this blood vessel wall is broken, there's some exposed collagen. So we'll have collagen here in brown. Now this collagen that's exposed will attract platelets or those thrombocytes that bre broke off from the megakaryocyte. Now the platelets will, here in blue, will bind to that collagen. When the platelets are bound, they'll also release some other factors out that will attract other platelets that are floating in the blood, because you have some floating around here. And these other platelets will be attracted to this location. So you'll get some more platelets here at the side of that blood vessel wall damage that will form a platelet clot. Now, when the platelets are all clotted together here, they will also um, attract fibrin. Now, fibrin is the activated form of fibrinogen. That was one of the proteins that um, was found in plasma. Now, fibrinogen kind of comes in and forms this big net work over this area. So we'll just have fibrin, the activated fibrinogen, which is called fibrin, here in orange. Now fibrin forms this net, and this net will trap some erythrocytes, or some of those red blood cells. So it traps these red blood cells, and together these form the blood clot that will stop you from bleeding, from blood leaking out of this broken blood vessel, and will allow it to heal.